Hey guys, this is Ready for War here. Uh, this is a review on the Remy, uh, Remington, the Benchmade Rant. Um, this is a dis uh, red line dis discontinued product. Although they have come out in the black line, which is from the read not done, is the exact same knife, but a lot more expensive. Um, I don't know if it's got the stonewash finish or not, but same steel, same size, same spec, same handle material, everything. Same uh, ho uh, holster, I think. Um, this pretty much is my main hunting knife. I've been using it lately, especially last year and everything like that. Just kind of test it out. This right now is my only Benchmade. I like Benchmade a lot. I've ha had them before. I lost them. I had a pocket knife. Um, one of my favorite knife companies, but they're so expensive, and I think sometimes for the price, it's quality for the price, but I can get some, I can get more of a knife out of some other products that are a little cheaper, and there's so many knife products I want to get that I'm not in the stage to buy Benchmade right now, although I have been looking at one that's worth it, but there I will have more Benchmades in the future, more of a professional knife, I think. Um, anyway, even though it's 440C steel, the steel is really good. I guess their temperament they put on it. It says Mill Purdue. I guess that's the knife designer. It's a little bench. It's got the stone wash. Now, this is the actual what I consider a stone wash blade. It's got the little, you can tell now they have a lot of blades that look bead blasted. And call stone wash. I guess they are stone wash, but I didn't like it at first, but it kind of grew on me. The handle's great. It's got some kind of rub hard rubber texture, which is gives you enough grip, but gives you, um, you know, it gives you enough grip, but it's still solid. I'm, I'm sure this would last for a long time. It's got a little lanyard hole right here. I did have a lanyard tie through it. But I used it. Actually needed it when I was hunting. Um, this knife has been through quite a bit of trials. I've used it through quite a few deer, and uh, it's held an edge great. Um, it's big enough to go through the brisket, and precision enough to where you can do your cuts through the skin without puncturing the uh, internals. I actually lost this knife for about a month in the woods. Um, it just fell out after uh, I was using it. And I was afraid that it was going to be all rusted because once that happens to a knife, you know, you, you get because it was raining most days that time of the year where I was at. And, uh,. Once you know they get rusted like that, they'll never be the same. But I found it. I backtracked, and after three, four hours of looking in the area, I came across it and pulled it out of the sheath. Zero rust. Now it was in this nice leather sheath, but it was moist. It was damp. You know, uh, after it happened, as you could tell, you know, the sheath has been dinged up a little bit, and it's got a nice leather sheath double stitched it's real thick leather nice the belt loop kind of sucks I mean you can see you really gotta force your belt through that and it's high it's kind of high on the hip so when you wear it like if you're sitting down especially how tight this leather is on your belt kind of pokes into you you have to put it more towards the back um, it's got a nice little snap right here fast deploying through the, uh, facing the back way I like because it don't pop open if you bump into something it's an excellent knife that's my review guys thanks